There's so much going on in the seas around Wales. Tourism, fishing, telecoms, power generation, shipping and more. So many activities all sharing space with our rich marine life. And as every year brings new activity, our seas keep getting busier. So for the first time, the Welsh Government has introduced a marine plan that will help us get the most from our seas for today and for tomorrow. Of course, it's a big task. There are social, economic and environmental factors, and it's our job to work in everyone's best interest. So we've considered all the implications. Take tourism and leisure. All around our coastline, our award-winning beaches and surrounding seas are enjoyed by thousands of people every year. Some beaches are great for surfing, some for diving, some for sailing. So we're attracting a wide mix of visitors to our coast. Local communities depend on them, so we need to keep our seas and beaches in good condition year after year. The seabed is already home to pipelines and power cables, and that's just the start. As Wales moves towards a low-carbon economy, we're replacing older, traditional fuels with clean, efficient sources. Today, our offshore wind farms are helping to power our homes and industry. We're also creating new technologies to harness tidal energy, and wave power is an important potential new energy source. All of this needs space within our seas. We also fish. This traditional industry is a cornerstone of many local communities. So we're working with this industry to ensure it delivers sustainable catches from the sea consistently into the future. Every year, millions of phone calls are transmitted through undersea cables, and much of our internet data is provided in the same way. Vessels bring foods, raw materials and other goods to our shores and the goods we produce are exported to customers. As the seas get busier, the need for planning increases. Imagine the chaos we'd have in the skies if there was no air traffic control, or in our communities without land planning. Well, marine planning is no different. It's about managing a space in a joined up way so everyone can use it. In developing the Welsh National Marine Plan, we're focused on sustainability. We have to help the businesses that rely on our seas, our ports, fishermen, shipbuilders, turbine manufacturers, and all the maintenance and service industries that support them. We have to manage our natural resources to protect our sea life and natural habitats, but we have to do it in a way that doesn't hinder progress. There's always a fine balance between development and environmental considerations. We're never more than a short distance from the sea. You could say it's one of the great things about being in Wales. So we should all have the chance to enjoy our fabulous beaches, and we want future generations to enjoy them too. The Welsh National Marine Plan sets the stage for inshore and offshore developments over the next 20 years. It's all about getting more value from our seas by making sure new developments and activities happen in the right place at the right time. Similar plans are being made across the UK, in the Republic of Ireland and in the Isle of Man. So we've been working with the UK government, local councils and other planning authorities. By coordinating this way, we've made sure relevant issues are raised and considered. The first Welsh National Marine Plan has now been adopted. Visit the website for more information.